Hey everyone, my name is Matt, and today I will be providing a more in-depth look at how to view the electronic positive response codes on the tickets you submit inside the One Call Access program. Inside the One Call Access program, you will be able to view the response status of your tickets in one place. This video will only be covering specific features within the One Call Access system. Due to this, we will be skipping over some portions of the One Call Access program. We have a video on our YouTube page that provides a more comprehensive look at the One Call Access program. If you would like more information about how to use the program to create and manage your tickets, we recommend watching that video first. I'll include a link to that video in the video description below. Each ticket you submit within the One Call Access system will have an electronic positive response status bar attached to it. Electronic Positive Response is a way for the utility operator to communicate to the 811 center how they've responded to a specific ticket. This information is then made available to the excavator through their One Call Access account. By viewing the Electronic Positive Response, an excavator can get the status of their 811 tickets online. This will allow you to see the status of your 811 tickets at a glance and give you a quick look of how many utility members have posted a response to your ticket compared to the amount of utility members notified about your request. At the home screen, you will see your five most recent tickets. You can view all of your tickets by clicking on the History tab on the left-hand side of the screen. To find a specific ticket, use the filter tools above to narrow your results. You can search for a specific ticket number by selecting Ticket Number in the Filter By drop-down options, and then typing in your ticket number in the field to the right. You may need to clear the date ranges by clicking on the X icon before you click Search. You can then view the electronic positive response codes in more detail by clicking on the ticket to open the confirmation window. Here you will be able to see the list of utility members who are notified about your project and their individual responses to your request. If you click on a specific member, it will provide a more detailed view of their response as well as any notes they chose to leave for you on the ticket. You will also see a complete history of each response code that was listed on the request, including the date and time that the response code was listed. Immediately after a ticket is created in the One Call Access system, the code 000 will be automatically applied to communicate that the utility operator has yet to provide a suitable response to the ticket. This note simply communicates that the operator has not yet posted their response code to your request. If a utility member does not post a response to your ticket before the posted legal start date, then the system will automatically apply the 999 code to communicate that the member did not post a response before the legal start date and time on the ticket. You can download all of this information to your computer by clicking the download button on the top right hand corner. You will have the option to download the latest positive responses from each utility member or download the complete history of responses left on your ticket. Remember, the electronic positive response system is a record of how each utility member chose to respond to your request. You need to verify that the utility member responded in the way that they listed on your ticket. For instance, if a utility member left the response code 010, locate area marked, you will need to verify that the utility member marked its underground utility at your excavation site. It is required that each utility member listed on your ticket has responded to the request before you can begin digging. If one or more utility members have not responded, you cannot begin the work, even if your start date and time has passed. If both your listed start date and time and the two working day notice on your ticket have passed and you are still waiting for a utility member to respond, you will need to submit a no response notification on your ticket. You can do so over the phone by calling 811 or online by clicking Actions, then No Response. Make sure to follow the instructions in the pop-up window and then verify the information listed on the ticket. You can continue to submit a no response notification every two hours until the utility member responds to your request. 
If you have any questions about how to use the electronic positive response system inside One Call Access, please contact our web operations department at web operations at usan.org.